Did you cut your hair? I, I did cut my hair. It's, it's all gone. It's growing back slowly now. <laughs> <laughs> How so. do you feel lighter? <laughs> <laughs> I feel lighter. Uh, it was nice. Swimming without a cap is great. Um, <laughs> so uh, that's always a positive. Yeah. <laughs> in the face tattoo it's it seems like you guys have really gotten into the doors spirit tell, tell me about being in budapest with the team it's all molly man i'm telling you she got <laughs> the tattoos now we just have, we just have a good time you know um i think we've all at this point been on teams together for so long that um it just feels really natural and we have good vibes and we hate losing so you know it all comes together pretty easy <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I saw, uh, I think it was Natalie Hines posted a video of you guys playing cards and she said, you get, you get really competitive. Does that, does, does those kind of distractions outside of the pool help it help the competitive spirit come easier in the pool? I think so. I mean, it's just, it's like, it's a normal trip. You know, when we go out of the country, we, we play cards and we play games and we hang out and um, I feel like we're not on our phones as much and, um, it's, it's, it's easy to come together when you don't have cell phone service. I feel like <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah. Um, what, what have the accommodations in Budapest been like? I think you guys are all on the same Island. Is that right? That's correct. So, um, basically we're doing it kind of bubble style. Um, we're the only teams. I think there are two hotels on the Island. We are the only people in the hotels, like ISL is the only people. So, um, and other than that, we're getting tested like every five days and we're all sitting at like separate tables in the dining hall, like all spaced out. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so we're like screaming across the cafeteria, like what's going on guys. So, um, but yeah, it's been fun. I've, I feel a lot safer here than I do at home for sure. Um, just because like, I know everyone here is negative and we're all kind of staying in the bubble. So, um, it's been, it's been a pretty easy adjustment. Yeah. I had you been tested yet? I heard there were some people complaining about the nose thing. <laughs> it was a little aggressive. Yeah. I've been tested twice. So, um, okay. I think at least once, like my brain got touched with the swab, but you know, it's okay. As long as you get to swim, it's okay. <laughs> it's such a weird feeling. Um, so speaking of, of, of maybe weird feelings, this was the you know first big meet. I know you guys had had a race day or two in Indiana. Um, did you have any expectations heading into the meet um, in, t in terms of what you were looking for out of your own races? Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I just wanted to come in and win. That was, that was the goal. I didn't, honestly, I had no idea I was going to swim as well as I did. Um, you know, just cause like I haven't raced in eight months, like who, who knows what's going to happen. So um, it was nice to just get back and, and have some, some normal in this year. Um, it just, yeah, it, it felt good. It was a, it was a good meet and we had a good time and we won. So I mean, that's always good, right? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you guys, I mean, you guys really crushed it. Do you think, um, I know uh, we talked to Olivia in the mix zone earlier and she had mentioned that you guys felt like the jackpot rule really, um, you know, influenced you guys in a positive way. But um, tell me a, a little bit about the team spirit during the competition. I mean, because you guys just really, I mean, you, you dethrone the energy standard by almost 100 points, I think, maybe even more than that. I know. Isn't that so sad for them? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fun. I think, well, we have, we know we have so many returners coming back, but we also have a bunch of new college swimmers. So it's been, I think it's been a good mix of, of the vets and, and the newcomers um, and just kind of taking them under our wings and uh, quite literally taking them under our, our condor wings and, <laughs> um, and just kind of, you know, showing them the ropes and, you know, for the most part, all of us have swam the NCAA. So you know, we know how to act to meet. We know how to act to dual meet. Most of us have swam for Team USA at some point, which um, kind of I think holds its its cheerleading squad to a different standard than a lot of other countries do. Um, so I think you know the first day it was a little quiet, a little weird because there wasn't anyone in the stands. But um, I think we really stepped it up today in terms of being loud and having a lot of energy on deck. So um, it was it was pretty fun. Nice. Uh, yeah. So last question. Um, tell me, tell me about the skins. You know, we've all watched from the <laughs> sidelines and now all these strokers are getting, getting their chance, their stab at it. Um, what was the skins like? 
it was fun. I feel like last year, like every interview I did, they're like, how do you feel about the ISL? Like, what's fun about it? Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, skins is rigged. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, so I'm glad the it's, it's benefiting me this year <laughs> and benefiting our team. <laughs> So, um, yeah, it, it was fun. It, it, you know, I feel like that's, that's what I trained for. I like joke that I trained for the four I am and still the 50 breast. Um, so <laughs> it was, it was, it was a good race and good to have two, two condors in the, in the final there. Well, I swim really Definitely. well. So it was fun. Yeah. yeah. Well, awesome. Thank you so much, Lily. Cool. Yeah. No problem. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Hand, the handoff. <laughs> yeah. Hey. All right. Hey Molly, how's it going? Good. How are you doing, Coleman? I'm doing pretty well. I'm I'm excited to get to chat with you guys a little. It was so fun watching an actual swim competition. Um, so let's start off with uh, you. You were the only. Well, you. I think you were one of two Tennessee pro grads who missed our big UT Zoom. Um, what has it been like to have so many Tennessee, like to have that Tennessee post grad group that you've been a part of for so long, um, all of a sudden balloon up to to you know eight eight ish women now yeah yeah um i've been in the pro group for like five years now and i feel like this is like finally the pro group that i've been waiting for uh so it's it's great um every something and um it's it's just really really special group to be a part of yeah um so so heading into (laughs) heading into uh this isl competition season bubble um with all of those tennessee postgrads how did you feel personally um coming into this first competition good um i mean i we've we've been training pretty consistently since may um we've had like consistent pool time since may um so i feel like all of us um you know came in you know really really strong um so yeah just really Uh, really good about it really excited to finally oh go ahead no, yeah, you're good. Just, just excited to finally, um, <laughs> just excited to finally get up and get racing. Um, it's been a long time since we've raced, so yeah, it feels really, really good. What What did you gather from this first for, first competition, first couple of days of racing? Um, how did you feel about the way you performed, um, and and what information you were given about racing at this point? Um, good, really good. Um, I think, um, kind of all of my races, there've been a couple takeaways that I would like to improve upon, but I feel really, really great about, um, you know, where I was at yesterday, some of the races today, um, and, and moving forward, I feel like, um, I can do better the next time too. So it's a good place to be. Yeah. Have you guys have been there for uh, five to seven days, I'm guessing. Um, what has been the biggest adjustment for you just being in that bubble environment, having your own room, e- you know, eating by yourself five feet away from everyone? Um, what's, what's been the biggest adjustment for you? I think the hardest part for me was maybe getting here. <laughs> I, um, I was one of like, I think, there were two other girls. Um, they didn't let us on the plane. So we, um, had some trouble and, um, it was like, I think we flew out two days later. Um, so we got here a little bit later. I think getting here was the hardest part. Um, so then, uh, the sleeping and adjusting to food and stuff, um, we had a slightly shorter period of time, uh, but you know, it, 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 it turned out okay. <laughs> it sounds stressful, but <laughs> glad you got there. Okay. And, uh, yeah. that's awesome. So, uh, last question for you as well. Tell me about the skins. How was that competition? And again, um, having a couple less days to adjust and still being able to finish one, two with your Condors teammate. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, it was so fun. Uh, I feel like, um, I was a little nervous. Um, I was super excited. Like I was hoping I would get to do skins at some point during this, um, six week series, um, and then as soon as they picked breaststroke, I was like, oh no, <laughs> got a little <laughs> bit nervous. <laughs> um, but I think, um, I, I went into the hunter breast a little bit nervous. And then after the hunter breast, I actually felt really, really good about it. So heading into the skins, um, I felt really calm and confident and, um, yeah, it was, it was so fun. So hope to, I hope I get to do it again soon. <laughs> well, uh, awesome. Thank you so much for your time, Molly. I really appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>
Hey, Coleman, right. what's up? Hey, how's it going, Jason? Uh, thank you good, again thanks. for uh, for agreeing to do this on such short notice. Um, yeah, no worries. And congrats on being the first team in ISL history to to defeat Energy Standard. How does it feel as a GM? It feels great because uh, last year we lost to them, I think, by a half a point in one of the meets, and we wound up getting second at a couple others and third in the final. So to finally uh, dethrone the champions, as they say, I don't think a lot of people really counted us to, to be able to beat them. Everyone talked about um, ahead of time, Energy Sander had the strongest team and uh, certain pickups were better than others. And I thought our pickups were really good in the off season. And we brought a lot of returners back that obviously scored a lot of points as you saw today. And it was, uh, it was great all around team effort. Uh, so, so tell me about just managing these athletes, getting all of them from the U S to Budapest. What was your role in all of that? Um, again, as the GM, um, was that, did that go pretty smoothly from your perspective? Was, was that stressful for you? <laughs> Uh, I mean, text message after text message, call after call. There was a lot of problems uh, going, getting on the plane and uh, showing the right stuff. We had COVID tests and some agents were saying the COVID tests weren't taken on the right days. And we had letters from Hungary that say we can go there. And it, it just obviously, as you heard, Molly's agent would not let her through. And she had to go get tested again that day and then fly out on the next day. And it was the same story over and over all day. And it just depended on... Um, who you were talking to at the gate trying to get in. So it was uh, definitely a stressful day. I was lucky I was flying out later that day to be able to handle that. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that sounds like a lot. Um, and then, you know, I asked Lily, but uh, what are the accommodations like in turn? You know, do you think that they did a good job at putting all this together on this island, keeping you guys in the same couple hotels, uh, kind of compared to last year's accommodations at, at this kind of meet? Yeah, no, I think it's great. Actually, um, the hotel's really nice. The food's really good. I haven't heard any complaints, to be honest with you. I I'm really happy with uh, what's going on here. And as far as the safety goes, um, you know, I, I did read some stuff, Swim Swam, I won't lie. And it, you guys made it sound a little bit like we get to leave the bubble for 90 minutes, and I was a little disappointed. I mean, we get to walk out here on this island, and the only mm -hmm. people on this island are running around the outside of the island on this little track, really, basically. So um, we're not really communicating or, or, you know, intermingling with the public people here. So um, it's just nice to be able to walk outside and get a breath of fresh air for a little bit. And that's basically what we can do. It's not like we're allowed to walk into the city. So they're protecting us. They're keeping us really safe. Um, they know that uh, if anyone here gets COVID, it can be really bad for their health. And obviously we know what can happen the worst and also it can destroy the league. So we're, we're trying to keep this as safe as possible. And the athletes respect that and they know that. And I think everyone's doing a really good job with that. Yeah. Um, so, so moving forward, you've been there for about a week now. I'm, I'm guessing you have, you've had some time to adjust. Obviously this is a very unusual situation, you know, six weeks of just straight competition. Um, what are you looking for out of your team heading forward after this first competition? Well, I mean, the first meet was a crapshoot of, you don't know who's in what position you talk to their coaches, you talk to them. And we had people swim a lot faster than they thought they were going to swim. And then others swam slower than they thought they were going to swim. So it was a big learning experience for the coaches to be able to plan these lineups, but also for the athletes to see where they are. And now going into those, the next meet, how they need to base their training so they can get what they need, uh, to reach their future goals, but also they got to get what they need in to swim how they want to swim here at ISL. So um, I think there's uh, a lot to be learned over the first meet that's going to really prepare us to move forward. All right. Well, uh, Jason, thank you so much for taking the time and uh, hopefully we can catch up with you after the next match. All right, Coleman, we plan on, uh, you know, hopefully we, we plan on winning quite a few. I mean, we have a really strong team. I don't think these guys want to let down. Like I said, half of the team, was here last year and coming in second and third place all the time didn't feel good so i think we plan on uh giving it our best effort every time giving a great show for the fans is what's really important because we wanted people to watch swimming and love it and i think uh, these guys understand that and everybody back home is really starving to watch some fast swimming yeah i i know i sure am and i know i'm really <laughs> excited that isl is is back and on the air so uh, yeah thanks again all jason right. and we'll definitely talk soon all right, thanks, Coleman. Take care. You've been listening to the Swim Swam podcast. Stay tuned for new episodes every week. 
You can take Swim Swim Podcast on the go by subscribing on your favorite podcast platform. Look for links in the description below and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos as well.